Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Ayan yung ginamit na picture. Wow! Aba, nabighani si uh, Mr. Stanley Long sa picture na yan. O nga naman, para pang, parang ano eh, yung sa mga pelikula, yung mga sexy style. Di ba? Wet look. Wow! Tama, wow, Ay, wet look. O nga naman, eh, wet look. Uh, tapos, yung buhok, ganun-ganun pa. Why did you do this to Mr. Stanley? This is not a laughing matter. Mr. Poncardas, you can go to jail for this. Bigyan mo wala ko ng sarili. Translator, don't give me that bullshit. You're trying to pull my leg. No, you can't. Kasabot itong nasa picture. Yes po sir, alam ah. niya po yan lahat. Okay. Hindi ko talaga alam sir, na ginamit okay. yung pangalan ko. You didn't know. <laughs> Pudas ka talagang ng lalaki ka. You're putting the Filipino name in shame. Pinapahiya mo yung ating lahi. Si Janet Flores, kasama okay. niya po ngayon, si Stanley Ryan Long. Nako, dudugong ilong natin ito. Oh, Stanley no. Ryan Long, Long <laughs> na taga California, US. Stanley. 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 Right. Oh, That's right. From Long. California, USA. He's from California, idol. So, <laughs> you, have, you, you have to speak... Patay tayo dyan, hindi na idol. You have to speak in English now. Hindi na idol. Pas na tayo dyan. Ito na idol. <laughs> Nire-reklamo niya. Ang ginawa daw pong panloloko ng nakachat po niya, idol. Nagpanggap na babae, idol. Yun pala, idol, ay isa pong Becky. At nakuhanan po siya ng malaking halaga ng pera dahil sa napaniwala sa ganda na ginamit daw po ng picture sa dating site. At magkano ang naloko? Ang nakuhang pera po sa kanya mga kapatid ay 1.3 million. Oh no! Agagay. Ay. Oh. Ay. Ayan yung ginamit na picture. Wow! Aba, nabighani si uh, Mr. Stanley Long sa picture na yan. O nga naman, para pang, parang ano eh, yung sa mga pelikula, yung mga... Sexy star. Yes. Wow! Di ba? Wet look. Tama. Oh, wow, <laughs> wet look. Oh nga naman, eh. wet look. Ta- tapos, yung buhok, ganun-ganun pa. Mm-mm. Para nang aakit. Pero, gusto kong, ano ha, uh, mag-issue ng disclaimer. Yung picture na po yun, ay hindi po yung nanloko. Okay? Para magliwanag, hindi po yung nanloloko. Nagamit lang po siguro yung letratong yun. So, doon sa babaeng mayari ng picture na yon. Kung kayo po yon, pwede kayong tumawag sa amin para magsalita kayo na ma-clear po ang name niyo kasi yung picture niyo ang ginagamit sa panluloko. All right, naniniwala po ako na ginagamit lang po yung picture niyo. Let's start the ball rolling. Let's talk to Mr. Stanley Ryan Look. Abutin na lang may katabi siya, may translator tayo. Hindi na tayo mahirapan. <laughs> Hello, magandang hapon po. Uh, Diyan sa California, it's 11 o'clock, right? Yes po, sir. Sir Rafi. A good morning. Buti na lang. Huh! Good Dina morning tayo. po. Hindi na tayo dito magka... Ay, good afternoon. Good afternoon dito. Good evening po dyan. Hindi na tayo magka yes, nose dito. So, Ma'am Janet, pakikwento, paano na naloko itong si Sir? Paano silang kakilala? Si Mr. Stanley Ryan Long po. Um, he is our friend uh, okay. for 10 years now. Okay. They met Evangeline and Norta in this dating website called FilipinoCupid.com. Okay. FilipinoCupid.com. Okay. And then, sometime like late April 2021, Right. Uh, my friend Stan really, really like into, him, into her because of her beautiful picture and also the way she put herself in the internet because the way in her bio seems very um, appealing to him. Of course, of course, we, we saw the picture. Uh, Mr. Stanley, yes. Ryan, good evening to you, sir, in uh, California, and good afternoon here in the Philippines. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Okay. We already pretty much know the, the story about you and this guy who's using the name Evangeline, and he was able to dupe you in the amount of 1.3 million pesos. Was that one time, sir? Did you give it to him? No, that was a, no, that was over a period of a couple, two or three months. In a span of two or three months. And how did he convince you to send him those money, that big amount? Well, it, it was it was in it was in uh, parcels. It wasn't it wasn't a big sum at any one time. It was kind of a gradual 
mm-hmm. a little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe uh, start out to be once a week. Maybe then it becomes twice a week. Maybe it becomes three times a week, and pretty mm-hmm. soon it starts adding up. Did he tell you why he's asking money from you, and oh, where yeah. is he going to yeah, use the I money mean, for? Yeah, I mean the money was used for th- they t- what they told me it was supposed to be used for, but I don't. I guess it wasn't actually used for that. Mm-hmm. So. I, I just believed what they were telling me, and I went along with it, thinking that uh, I had somebody I could trust. Okay. Did he promise you anything in uh, return for that 1.3 million pesos that you've been giving her? Well, it was, it was like I said, it was accumulative. It was uh, over a period of two to three months, and it was she supposedly was in uh, in uh, Minden now, and then she was we were working to get her a, a travel visa. Okay. So she said that she was going to go to the U.S. to marry you? Is that what she said? Is that what well, the, the it agreement? Was a, it wasn't to uh, get married right away. It was more to, to meet. It was a travel visa, uh, and she gave me the idea that she thought she could get a travel visa, and so I went along with it. Okay. Hold on, sir. Now we can talk to real Ian Poncardas. He's the person you've been talking to, sir, Mr. Poncardas. Right. Real Ian. Yes, well, sir. Why did you do this to... Mr. Stanley, can you speak in English so he can understand what we're talking begin about? Mo, begin mo wala ng translator. <laughs> translator? Paano mo siya naloko kung hindi ka marunong pala mag-English? Hindi, sir. Ano kasi yung English ko yung sir? Putol-putol, alam mo na. Eh, okay lang. It's okay. It's okay. Do your best. Katulad nung panloloko mo, yung mga English na ginamit mo sa kanya nung niloko mo siya, gamitin mo yun ngayon ulit. Explain to him. He's listening. Do your best. Ano kasi, sir? Ano kasi... No, no, okay, say it in English. Please, say it in English. He's listening to us. Ah, okay, Sir Stanley. This is not a laughing matter, Mr. Poncardas. You can go to jail for this. Don't make this a laughing matter. You're not being funny here, sir. Go ahead. Are you crying? <laughs> sir Stanley, would you like to talk to this guy? Yes, I'd like to know why he took all that money that wasn't supposed to go to him. Come on. Nagdadama ka lang, sir. We're talking about 1.3 million pesos here. We're not talking about 1,000, 5,000 pesos, 10,000. This is 1.3 million. That's a lot of money. Go ahead, Mr. Pongkardas. Where is the money now? Where is the 1.3 million? The, your father? What about your father? Your father got sick? Yes, Medicine for your dad and for the house? What's wrong with your dad? What's his illness? Okay, so you bought him medicine for his kidney stone problem for 1.3 million? Come on, don't give me that bullshit. You're trying to pull my leg. No, you can't. No, you can do better than that. I'm not stupid like you, Mr. Poncardas. Come on, be honest. Come on. Okay, so medicine for your father who's, who has a kidney stone problem and then for your house. What did you do about the house? What about the house? Yes, pinagawa po lang, ano sir, pinatapos po ng bahay. You spend the money for the construction of your house? What yes, house is this? Where's the house? Where is it located at? Sa ano po sir, sa Rock 13, uh, Alpizar, General Santo City. Now, you have to sell that house so you can refund or give it back to Mr. Stanley Ryan. Okay po sir. Ah, so you can give it back ba- to him. Okay po sir, pinos na kasi yan ng bahay para ano, para ma, uh, mabirinta. Where did you get that picture? The picture of that pretty lady? Where did you get that? Who is that? Do you know that lady? Uh, yes sir, uh, kilala ko po siya. Ayang babae sir, pinsan yan siya ng pinsan ko. Tapos, ah okay, uh, so kasabot itong nasa picture? Yes po sir, alam ah. niya po yan lahat. Okay. Pati po yung pangalan idol. Pati pangalan, okay. So, Inayari po ng pangalan. Yung sa sinabi ko kanina, at the start of the show that she might not know anything about what real Ian Poncardas is doing now mismo na si Mr. Poncardas is telling us na she knew from the start she's part of the scam Rufa May? Yes sir, hello po Okay Gandang tanghali po Good afternoon Can we see your picture Rufa May? Uh, sir, sa totoo lang po sir 
Opo, aminin ko po, ginamit niya po yung mukha ko, sir, pero yung tungkol po sa pera na 1.3 million, sir, wala po talaga akong pinalaman dyan, sir. Wala po talaga. So, you allowed him to use your picture to scam Mr. Stanley Ryan, right? Yes, you gave him the permission. And you know yes, that sir. Real Ryan was using a picture to scam Mr. Long, yes. right? Opo, ginamit niya po yung picture po po, sir, pero hindi ko po alam na gagamitin niya po sa pang scam. Sir, yan po. So, what did he tell you about the picture that he's gonna use to communicate with Mr. R Stanley Ryan? Sir, kasi po, sir, wala po talaga akong alam dyan, sir. Kasi yan po si Real Ian Punta. Now, come on, come on. You said that you knew from the start that Real uh, Mr. Poncardas was using your picture to communicate with Mr. Stanley Ryan, right? Opo, sir. And what sir. for? And what was the motive? What was the reason? A very simple reason to get money from Mr. Ryan. Can you speak in English so Mr. Mr. Uh, Stanley can understand you? Can you say it in English, please? The both of you? Sir, kanang, ay, sir, wala, ay, hindi man po ako marunong magsalita ng English, sir, kasi Tagalog naman po yung ano, sir. Okay. Po, sir. Okay, so you knew from the start when Stanley asked your permission to use your picture when he communicates with uh, Mr. Stanley Ryan, you knew that He's going to use your picture, right? And he asked permission from you and you said yes. Opo, sir. Gina op opo, sir. Okay. But now, don't tell me you owned that picture. You could have asked him what for. In the first place, why did you allow him to use your picture? You should not I have allowed him. Opo, sir. Sabi, niya po, sa sabi <coughs> po ni Real Ian Puncarda, sir, na gagamitin niya po daw yung picture ko as, uh, ano lang po, as a model. Yan po, sabi niya. No, you, you just told me. Why did you allow him to lie using your picture? Sir, ang alam ko lang po talaga dyan, sir. Pero po, sir, yung sa pakipag-communicate po kay Stanley, sir, si Real Puncardas na po ang nakikipag-chat dyan, sir, kasi siya po mismo gumawa ng account, sir. Ito naman, ginamit oh, name sa dating site si Evangeline Anorta. Okay, nagkakasangasanga, so marami silang magkakasabot. Tatlo sila. Idol. Tatlo sila. Oh, Evangeline, no! what's your narrative about this issue? What's your story, ganun, ganun, Evangeline? Yes, sir. Ganon po to, sir. Ang sabi po nila sa akin na ang kano daw... They told you that the American... Go ahead. Ang, ang sabi po kasi sa akin ng Meryl Ayan na uh, may pira daw siya ipakukuha sa akin. Okay, so uh, Poncardas told you that he will get money, he's going to get money from the American? Opo, tapos sabi niya, an, a, tanong ko sa kanya po sir, ha, kanino yung pera? Okay, sabi niya sa so you akin, ask him whose money is that? Ang sabi ko po sa kanya sir, na kanino yung pera, sabi niya sa, sa boyfriend daw niya ni Rufa May. Okay, the boyfriend Una, of Rufa May. Baka ano yan, kanang masama yan. Ang sabi niya, hindi daw kasi mag-asawa mang nang minyuan daw na ni Rufami ng kano. Hindi ko talaga alam, sir, na ginamit okay. yung pangalan ko. You didn't know. <laughs> Is that true, Rufami? That Evangeline sir. didn't know that uh, you were using... Sir, sir, Rufami, hindi po yan totoo, sir. Hindi po yan totoo. Kasi nung alingan po yan, sir, hindi po yan totoo. Ayun, naglaglaga na sila. Sige, laglag pa more. She's lying. So that means he's into the scam, the three of you. Pero ang principal talaga dito is, ano eh, is uh, Mr. Poncardas. Mr. Poncardas, I need you to talk to Stanley Ryan. Go ahead. D -d don't tell me that you, you don't know how to speak English. How are you able to dupe 1.3 million pesos from him if you don't know how to speak English, if you don't know how to communicate to him? But how were you so, able to scam? How were you able to scam this gentleman if you didn't know how to speak English? Okay, it doesn't matter. Go ahead, talk to him. Kahit na mali -mali. Go ahead, sir. Sige na. In Tagalog, ipaliwanag mo sa kanya kung paano nangyari at bakit nangyari yon at bakit mo nagawa yun kapareho nung iyong pagpapaliwanag sa kanya nung ikaw ay nanguhutot ng pera sa kanya. Hindi na talaga ako makapagpita talaga sa promise. Mag-English ka ikaw naman. Paano kumingi ng pera sa kanya? Paano mo sinasabi sa English nung humingi ka ng pera sa kanya? Hindi 
Totoo na talaga tayo, sir. Hindi nga, paano mo sinabi sa kanya nung hiningan mo siya ng pera? Paano mo sinabi sa kanya na, Mr. Stanley, kailangan ko ng pagamot yung tatay ko kasi may problema sa bato, kailangan ko ng pagawa ng bahay, etc., etc. Paano mo nasabi yon? Sabihin mo ngayon. O baka meron ka pang ibang kasabwat. Sabihin mo na sa amin ngayon. Kumanta ka na. Wala sa wala talaga ako lang talaga sir. Oh, kung ikaw wala na lang at wala ka na iba pang kasabwat na nagpa-communicate dito kay Sir Stanley din. Sabi mo nga. Kausapin mo siya. Hello sir. Yes. Okay, do you recognize his voice? Is that the same voice that you've been talking yes. to? It was all on emails. I never heard the voice. It was email. Sir, uh, we're talking to email sir through email. Yes, we're not talking to uh, uh, a call a telephone. Okay, email. Is that true, uh, Stanley? Yes. 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 Through email? No voice yes, call? Email. Okay, email. No sir. voice call. Sorry, okay. No voice. I asked uh, money. I asked money to him about uh, my, about, uh, to, pay my, to pay my apartment, to buy food, like that. And apartment? Yes, he sent, yes, he sent me. Sir Stanley, what is it that you want us to do now? Well, I'd like to have my money back if that's possible. It's not It's not his money. It's, it belongs to me and it wasn't meant to go to him. Mr. Poncardas, he wants his yes, money sir. back. If what you're telling us is true that you spend some of that money for the construction of your house, wherever it is, you have to sell that house. Yes, well, sir. I spend the money to, uh, to renovate the house and to buy my father's medicine for food like that. Who owns that house? Sa amin po, sir. And where is it located at? What province? What what city? Yes, in General Santos City. Uh, for Rock 13, Alcista Canton, Apupong, General Santos City. How much is it worth? Do you know how much the property is worth? Hindi uh, ko pa alam, sir. Hindi uh, ko pa alam po yun, sir. Pero pwede mo ibenta yun? Opo, pwede mo yung ibenta. Oh, dapat lang ibenta mo. Kaysa naman eh, pag uh, ikaw ay nakulong, bentahing-bentahe ka kay... Pero yung at the goal, sinisiguro ko sa'yo, ang katapat mo lang, pumada. Nakulong ka na ba? Nakulong ka na ba? Hey, wala pa po, sir. Oh, so okay lang ba sa'yo makulong? Gusto mo makatikin makulong? Good afternoon, Attorney Freddy Villamore. I asked Rufa May, the owner of the picture, she knew from the start that uh, Mr. Poncardas has been using her picture because he asked permission from her to scam the American. And then there's another person here involved. Evangeline Anorta is also a friend of uh, Mr. Poncardas. He has given her permission to Mr. Poncardas to use her name in scamming Mr. Long. So my question now, are these three people liable or only Mr. Poncardas? Well, it's very obvious, uh, Idol Rafi, that they have committed this thing or tapa in conspiracy with each other. When you say conspiracy, the act of one is the act of all. Mm -hmm. So if one is liable for staffa for swindling the American, everybody is liable for it. Because all of them, some, some way, somehow, participated. Okay, so all of them, all the, the three of them. Okay, Ma'am, Rufa May, pati ikaw, masasama, ma mapreso ba? Ikaw, o kining si Poncardas, o kanang si Anorta, tulog ka mo mapreso, Evangeline. Sir, hindi po ako po. Hindi po po alam, sir. Binamit na siya ang pangyaran ko po, sir. Si Evangeline po. Idol, nakakapag-withdraw daw po ito, sir. Si Evangeline ng pera. Oh. Pangalan po. Sa pangalan po. Hello, sir. Based on the fact that I have heard, all of them are liable because of conspiracy. They're all liable for staffa. And we're talking about 1.3 million pesos, so... What's going to happen now if we're going to go to court and file a case of... Is that going to be a grand-scale staffer because of the amount? Well, not necessarily, the, not necessarily because of the amount. Maybe the number of participants. Uh, how many are they? Three. Who there are three of them. The three. It could, be, it could be a simple case for staffer Idol Rafi, but they, they are all liable because everybody participated in committing the crime. If they get convicted, how many years would they have to spend in jail? In uh, prison. Would be, I think that's more than six years. Six, six years. Six to twelve years. Six to twelve years. Yes. Each. Yes. Mr. Poncardas, yes. six years ka gagawing shota ng mga taga Muntinlupa. <laughs> oh, natawa ka, natutuwa ka dahil yung pumada doon, babaha. <laughs> Nako, natawa lalo to, akala niya. 
Hindi, seryosohin ka na. Makukulong ka dito, Mr. Pongkadas. Ma Evangeline, huwag mo sabihin na, na hindi ka involved. Eh, nag-withdraw ka eh. Sir, sino? O, apat na bisis po sir kasi sabi oh. niya po. O. Oh. Yun, yun nga, yun nga siya sabi niya ni Villamor. The fact na nag-withdraw ka ng pera uh, at yung pera yung nagaling kay Sir Stanley, doon pa lamang pwede ka na may consider na kasabwat talaga. Conspiracy. Pero hindi po ako ang gumamit ng pera po, sir. Hindi nga ikaw gumamit ng pera, pero ikaw ang ng pera na pinadala ni Stanley kay Poncardas. Na alam mo yung pera nga galing sa Amerikano. Attorney Villamor. Yes, sir. Okay, did you hear what uh, she said? She, she withdrew a few times from the ATM account of Mr. Uh, Poncardas, but she knew that the money came from Stanley. Yeah, she's equally liable with the others, uh, idol. She's liable, equally liable. Okay, that's good enough for me. Attorney Villamor, thank you very much. Yes, good sir. afternoon to you, sir. Okay, Mami Evangeline, pati ikaw mapreso. Sir. Na? Hindi mo po kasi alam, sir, na ganyan ang trabaho po niya. Eh, kausapin mo si ano, kausapin mo si Pongkardas, kausapin mo. Hindi po, sir, wait lang, sir. Alam mo na naman. Oh, alam po yan yan. Alam niya yan. Sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, Ian. Ah, wala. Yan si Evangeline, sir. Wala po, yan, wala po talaga yan alam. Kasi di ko po sinabi na ganyan po. Ang sa kanya lang, uh, kumuha lang ng pera, ganyan. Pero di niya alam na, na ganyan, po ang, uh, ganyan po ang sabaho ko. O ganyan po ang ginawa ko. Yan, wala po yan siyang alam. Pe, pero sir, yan nga sabi niya ito ni Villamor, the fact na nag siya ng pera, na pera galing kay uh, Stanley, doon nakukunek siya. Liable din siya. Ayan tuloy umiyak, pinahamak mo siya. Lalo, ikaw, ikaw Rufa May, lalo na ikaw, malaking kadiinan mo rito, di na diin ka rito Rufa May, ba't ka kasi pumayag? Rufa May. Oh, hello po sir. Di na diin ka, dalaga ka pa ba? Sir, may anak na po ako sir, isa. Okay, pero single mom ka? Opo. Okay, ang nagustuhan kasi ni Stanley ay yung picture mo. Opo sir. Mr. Stanley? Stanley? Yes. Okay. The person in the picture is on the other line. And she's part of the scam. And would you like to talk to her? But I don't know what to say to her. Would you like her to go to jail as well? Uh, I don't like to see anybody go to jail. The thing I would like to see is somebody make an effort to give me my money back. And uh, that would probably would make me happy the most. That's good. That makes sense. I understand. <coughs> Mr. Pocardas, you have to return the money. You have to give it back to him. Yes. Otherwise, oh. you and Evangeline, unfortunately, and Rufa May, the three of you will go to jail, will go to prison. Yes, po, sir. Uh, ibibenta po yung bahay namin, sir, sa kalupa na pinag-anuhan ko sa pera niya para may balik sa kanya. Okay, and when is it going to happen? When are you going to sell that property, that house? This po kasi, sir, di po madali ang magbenta ng bahay kasi, sir. Yes, nung ano po sir, nung una, nakita ako ni Janet, sabi niya, ah, mas petal na talaga to sir. Ah, Mag-down payment po ako ng 187,000 para sa ano na. Okay, well, hold on. So, my understanding is, uh, as a sign of goodwill, you will give Mr. Stanley 100,000? 100 something thousand? One, okay po sir, uh, magda-down payment po ako ng 187,500 pesos. Why not make it 200,000 which is pretty much 4,000 US dollars? Kasi sa ano po kayan? Sa ano po kasi yun sir sa 25% ba yun? Basta ganun. <clears throat> Tapos ang ang naano ko ban ang ano ko lang na pera sir ang naipon is 50,000 pesos. Hold on, hold on. So so you, so you have in your hand in your bank account right now is 187,000 pesos. Hindi po ako nakabuo ng 187,000, sir. Ang nabuo so, ko lang po is 50,000 pesos. Nandito po sa akin ang 50,000 pesos, sir. Hindi ko po yun ginastos. Can, can you show Tapos me? Lang, can, can I see? Can I see your 50,000? Where is it? Ah, nasa ano, sir? Nasa Gcash po, sir. So you have 50,000. Okay, this yes. is what I want you to do. As a sign of goodwill, go ahead and send that 50,000 pesos back to Stanley. Dip, ano po sir, yan kasi si Janet sir, yung friend ni Stanley. No, dito. no, 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 wag mo na pahabain pa. 
kailangan gumawa ka na ng paraan, yung 50,000, ibalik mo na muna kay Stanley. Dahil kapag hindi mo ginawa yan, then magkakaso kami. Kakasuhan ka namin. Hindi kasi, kasi papayag si Janet Trump, 50,000 pesos lang, kailangan 187,000. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, hold on. So, Janet, is it true that you, you want 187,000 and not 50,000 as down payment? Um, Because Stanley, Tepe, we had an agreement na po. We had okay. an agreement. And from 1.3 million, it, it's down to 750,000 pesos. Ah, okay. Well yes. then, Evangeline and Rufa May, you have to convince uh, Mr. Poncardas to send the 187. Otherwise, we're going to file a case against you, the three of you. Opo, sir. <coughs> Kumbinsin mo na. Sige, sige na, magsalita ka na. Pagsulti na do good ano rupa me. Tanang paliyog lang bayarin na lang na ang karang na scam nimo kay sa tinuod lang wala jud kay kalibutan ana 1.3 million maluoy pud ka kay napud kuy anak nga napud kuy batang gamay dipud ko gusto makulong kay Mawakat meron ako maliit na anak 1.3 million well, Kay bagulong na. pud namatay akong papa maluoy pud ka mas bayarin Kamamat na lang kamamatay lang ng tatay na. ko bayaran mo na sabi niya Mao lang mo, yan lang po masabi ko sir Okay, Mr. Poncardas. Apo, sir. Are you a drug addict? Are you taking drugs? No, sir. <laughs> okay, see, the, your accomplices, both of them are crying and begging for, for mercy or begging from you to return back the money and here you are laughing as if this is all game. As <laughs> if you're making this like a fun and game. Anda mo kung mabaligyan ng balay rupa. May promise. Ano na biyan ako na agi di po sabi ko na sa Facebook ang balay tapos ano wala pag wala pag mo palit ay andam na bed ko mabayad na araw pa mi di ba nag-anak ko sa imuha kay Cetel na to ni tapos na anak mo gusto si Janet na kailangan 187,000 ano 187,000 okay tapos, Mr. Poncardas when are you gonna give Mr. Stanley the 187,000 that has already been agreed upon yan po kasi sir 50,000 lang po kasi ang, na, ang naipun po sir eh kasuhan ka na lang namin Alam ko, wait lang, sir. Ah, 50,000 lang kasi ang pera nandito sa akin, sir. Okay for you. Um, he said, sir, yes. as long as he paid the rest of it, okay. he will accept the 50,000 pesos. Okay. All right. Now, Mr. Poncardas, when are you going to send the 50,000 pesos? Okay wait. po, sir. Baka, baka ano po, sir, next week, sir. Next week? Come on. Why next week? Why not tomorrow? Hindi sir kasi na, na ano po kasi sir sa GCash tapos nandun sa PayPal sir. Ay niluloko tapos, mo kami. Hudas ka. Hudas ka talaga ng lalaki ka. Hindi po sir, hindi po ako nanloko sir. Kay kung nandiyan na sa GCash yung 50,000 dividend do mo na agad-agad tomorrow. Bakit pa kailangan ang next week? Eh, ano pa lang ngayon? Merkuris pa lang ngayon. Ang GCash po kasi sir, ang um, withdraw mo lang araw-araw sir is 20,000 pesos. Di na maano, di na ma Oh, sige, 20,000 pesos araw-araw. So, 20,000 today, Wednesday, 20,000 Thursday, oh, and then 20,000 Saturday, sobra-sobra na. Oh, by Friday, buo na yan. Okay po, sir. Sige po, sir. So, gusto ko by Friday, pinadala mo na yung pera kay Stanley. Okay po, sir. Sige. So, Friday. Opo. Dahil kung hindi, nako, papaskil namin yung mga litrato mo. Okay, sige po, sir. Okay. Mr. Stanley, He's going to send uh, on Friday the 50,000 pesos. Okay. Attorney Villamor. Yes, sir. Yes, Doon sir. sa kasulatan, pwede na ba ito sa sila sa barangay? O, uh, uh, pwede naman. Si yung Pilipino nandito sa barangay kap, dito sa barangay natin gagawa niya na statement ng ano, eh, pipirmahan niya doon. At least meron na siyang undertaking na sinasabi natin. Mm -hmm. On the part of ano naman, on the part of the American complainant, I suggest na just in case lang, para ko sakaling it, just in case you would want to pursue it and this Filipino respondent, ito pong inerereklamo, hindi magtupad, he should already have a complaint notarized before a notary public in the U.S. as long as it is what we call now apostille. Uh, uh, nowadays, you don't have to go to the consular office to have it consularized. There is now a procedure, there is a treaty where in these participating countries, they could already go to a notary public and all that they need from the Ottawa Republic is what we call an apostille. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yung po ang bagong proseso ngayon. 
And, Tapos ting at tawag natin. And then after that, so pwede nang... At least meron na siyang complaint na pwede na natin... We can already represent him here. We can already file the complaint here in the Philippines. Ayun. Ah, okay, okay. Sige. Salamat ulit, Attorney uh, Villamor. Yes, sir. Freddy okay. Villamor. Mr. Pocardas, Friday, you sent Mr. Stanley Long the 50,000 pesos. That's 1,000 US dollars or more. Okay? And okay, then, sir. where are you at? Nandito po sa, sa, ano, sir, sa birding house, sa apartment, sir. Sa Jensan. Okay. Opo. We will call the barangay captain in your locality, the nearest bar the barangay where you are, and talk okay. to the chairman so that you will sign an agreement. Okay? Okay, sir. That you will pay Mr. Stanley the balance after 50000 and then as to the date and the duration or the terms, everything, it has to be agreed upon between you and Stanley. Okay? Okay, sir. Stanley, don't hang up. Uh, okay, after this, I'm going to talk to you uh, about how the money is going to be sent to you and then the terms and agreement about the balance, how he should pay it up. Okay, Mr. Stanley? Yes. Mr. Poncardas? Yes, po, sir. Don't ever, ever do this to us. Give us that smirk and that laugh like, like you think this is funny. No, this ain't funny. You're putting the Filipino name in shame. Pinapahiya mo yung ating lahi. Maraming mga mababait na mga Pilipino doon maapektuhan dahil sa kabalastugan mo. Okay? Sige. Friday, 50,000. Sir Stanley, we'll call you back on Friday to make sure that you already received that money. Okay, sir? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Nice talking to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am Janet, maraming salamat po sa inyong tulong. Tinutulungan niyo po itong si Sir Stanley. Oh, no problem po, Sir Tulfo. Thank you so much din po. Dahil po sa inyo, mga kabawi po tayo, mga Pilipino, sa mga foreigners, sa mga Amerikano dyan. Malaking bagay itong ginagawa nyo. Mabuhay po kayo, Ma'am Ma Janet. Ingat po kayo, Ma'am Janet. Thank you po. Uh, ingat po, Sir Tulfo. God bless po.